John Wise here again with Comageddon, bringing you another an old 80s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure, this time at Usaki Ajumbo, the original Bad A Rabbit. So here we have Usaki Ajumbo uh, in his 1988 form, I believe. Um, now this is a weird uh, figure here in and of itself because Usaki Ajumbo was known um, in the comics before he was uh, ever appeared on the Ninja Turtles cartoon series, but he didn't become popular until he appeared on the Ninja Turtles series. Um, okay, now, I bring that up because this particular figure looks nothing like the character from the comics or the cartoon series. So I'm not exactly sure why they chose this particular appearance. But, they did, so let's go ahead and go over um, all the cool little details, paint jobs, and articulation on this guy before I go over the accessories. Okay, first off, you can tell right away that he looks like one ticked off rabbit. Uh, we got the uh, long ears here tied uh, with the little band. That's uh, kind of traditional of Yusaki Jumbo. Um, <clears throat> he has this one white eye over here for some reason. Um, the rest, I remember the rest of the figure being pretty much the same. Um, we have samurai pads and a samurai outfit. Um, again, not, not the attire we even saw him in in the cartoon and animated series or the comic book, so kind of weird. Uh, we have a weird drawstring here that he would normally, I assume, would wear um, if wearing uh, a samurai helmet, which he's not wearing. He did, nor did he come with it. Again, really weird. But we have the samurai pads, we've got the samurai. Uh, wrist uh, back and here, knee pads. Now these were infamous for breaking off. Uh, kids would take them off, so it's really hard to find a Saki Jumbo figure with the pads still attached. So, and these are glued in. Uh, he has the black belt here. We have the pink uh, pants, as well as the sandals. White bunny feet, turning around. Uh, we have unpainted strap here, which. I'm not exactly sure what that strap is supposed to be holding up. There's nothing on the front. So it's still a detail that I guess wasn't really necessary, but is there anyway. Um, Articulation-wise, pretty much your standard uh, Ninja Turtle articulation from the 80s. Head moved right to left, arms moved up and down. Uh, most turtle figures, their wrists move. This one was weird as one arm, forearm, moved for right right to left the other one had a really weird um, movement <laughs> yeah so and it made for and his wrist doesn't move either probably wouldn't be so bad if his wrist also moved but it doesn't just the elbow area uh, which and I'll show you this um, it made for posing him with cool with weapons cool awkward. Uh, his legs, of course, move on a ball joint, and he did come with a, a large array of weapons. He came with multiple. He came with uh, two different swords, a dagger, a uh, a bladed staff, and of course your standard like throwing stars and stuff like that. I have three out of those weapons. Uh, I have the little dagger. And I'm sorry, the uh, the middle sword, not the dagger. I had the full bladed sword, and I have the staff. Uh, the staff fits best in this hand here. And I'm assuming maybe this is why his uh, 
the articulation on this is the way it is. So you can pose him with the staff. Uh, like so. Oops, see it. It's really hard to. Yeah, see, it, it's really hard to um, get him to hold anything the right way. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the staff can posed here to help keep him standing. Uh, you can pose him with either sword in either hand. Uh, but you'll see what I mean here when I say it makes it look awkward. Because there we go. Now one sword is, is like this. Or if you have his arm down, it's like that. But you can't really bend it any further. Uh, this one's okay because you can, you know, bend it that way. So... Yeah, um, but with the Casey Jones uh, review I recently did, plus Yusaku Jumbo figure, these two are some of, were a couple of my favorite action figures growing up as a kid, uh, turtles wise. So I ended up uh, going on eBay and buying uh, Yusaki here, making sure that I got the one with the uh, full uh, samurai pads there. They also made a, another version, uh, Space Usaki Ojimbo. And at first, I wasn't aware of why. I wasn't, I wasn't sure why they made that figure. Uh, he never appeared in the animated series. It turns out that in the comic books, um, Usaki did go to space. And um, that was what they were basing the figure on. Except, he basically had the same head, just with a little bit of cybernetic gear on him. So, again, the figure wasn't an appearance based on the comic book or the animated series. It's just their own design. I don't know if they couldn't just get the rights to the designs or what, but, yeah. So, there we go, though. We have the original Yusaki Jumbo. So, thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon from Comagin, where all geek culture collides.